Have you ever told a lie? Should I rephrase it? How many lies have you told in your life? I would say I've said, told hundreds of lies. I'm honest. Thank you for being honest. What do you call someone who lies, Jules? Uh, I'll make it easy for you. If I lied to you, what would you call me at the beginning of the letter L? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. By the way, what I'm doing is I'm taking it through the Ten Commandments. That's God's standard and He's going to judge everyone within the judgment day, whether we like it or not. Yeah. If you ever stole anything in your life, take something without asking permission or download a music or, or download a video or anything. Talk, talk, I broke all ten. So did my wife. That's we are guilty of it all. What do you call someone who steals? Begin, begin through the letter. Thank you. Well done, man. You're doing well. Have you ever um, been angry and frustrated and, you know, to God's name again, oh my God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I think everyone has here. we've all done it. If I took your mother's name and used it as a curse word and it slapped me across the face and said, how dare David you put my mother's name and talk about her like that? Possibly I would, yeah. But we don't think, flippantly, don't even think about it, we take our creator's name without even thinking. It's called blasphemy, it's very serious. They shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for God will not hold him. He takes his name and being very serious. This is the one that destroyed me. This question absolutely destroyed me, Jules. Have you ever committed adultery? Do you know what adultery is? I do. I'm, I'm, mar I'm married as a man. Uh, and no, I haven't. Good man. Thank you for being honest. But what I didn't know was this. I've been reading you know, God's Word for 15 years, the Holy Bible. And if you open the book of Matthew, you turn to chapter 5, verse 27 28, Jesus said, not me. He said that if you look upon a woman to lust after her, commit adultery already with her in your heart. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've looked at other women, I've been window shopping, but I've never actually gone any further than that. But, you know. yeah, the, the fact is, if we, if we think it, it's going to judge our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. So if that's the case, we're red blood of meals. So by your own admission, Jules, you've admitted that you're a lion, even classically. And that's only four of the Ten Commandments. You won't even go through the other six. Yeah, okay. Because if it did, we broke them all. Everyone's broke them all. Now, you never know the night we're going to die. That's true. Ten out of ten people die. Look that far in London recently. Look at 9 11. I mean, we, we just think we're going to live the radio. You've got kids, you've got a family. Yeah? You know, and I'm married. We want to enjoy our time with them. But the fact is, 10 out of 10. That's, that's the absolute truth of it. If you were to die, God forbid, tonight, you went before God after all the people that just went through. And if God, the perfect judge, the righteous one, the just judge, were to give you the appropriate judgment, lying people, blasphemies, and adultery, but would you go in and see what you Well, I would like to think on the grand scheme of things, if you look at all the thousand times that actually I have been. In his eyes, I would say a good human being. I would say he would look at it and say, on the balance of things, I am a good human being. I would, that's how I think that's he would look. Say, that's how I think. Let me give you a little analogy. If I was to go out and rip or murder a woman or steal a car, do a heinous bad crime, and I'm a hundred thousand pounds of bail, and I went before the judge, and the judge, I said to the judge, look, judge, I'm really very sorry. I've changed. I've grown up. I'm a different person now to what I was then. Yeah. You know, I'm really sorry. Is the judge going to let me go? No. So God being a holy, the ultimate judge, yeah. he says all liars, all thieves, all blasphemers, all adulterers, all whoremongers, all sorcerers, and idolaters will have their part in the day, which turn up for fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Hell. It makes sense that here, if you've got a prison, you've got an eternal prison for Hitler, for Starling, for, yeah, yeah. for these people, pedophiles, uh, etc. It makes sense to have a prison eternal for them. It doesn't concern me that if you die, then God would have to put you in the right church, and that's where you would be going to this whole hell, this eternal prison. If I believed that way, I suppose it would do. Yeah. Two things we must do at the end of the kingdom of Two things we must do at the end of the kingdom of heaven, Jules. I done it 15 years ago in my bed. The tear, the tears running down my face. Thank you for being honest with me. I think that's. I think that's I will do. I mean, generally speaking, I think I think religion is a, a general code of a, a, no, it's a general code of code of rules. And, and I think I think I, I think. Yeah.
so we say it's my work in bed. It's never shown a dime like this, but I said I'm sorry. They're giving me access to some Jesus Christ. I'll take the call with them, Mike. Did they give you this one? This might answer some questions. Really free problems. Have a read. I can see what you can make of it. There's a million pounds for you, sir. You don't get a million pounds every day. Thank you very much. Good luck. And all the best. Thank you.